this shall be my complete DVD and Blu-ray haul as of April 20, uh, I want to say it's the 26th, but anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So it actually is a 26, I just did a check, so I guessed correctly, but anyway, we got two Blu-rays and two DVDs, I've already watched two of these, so I'll give like a mini review with it, because I'll probably be doing a full-on review for these two as well, but anyway, let's go through the Blu-rays first, I already did an unboxing video for this, so you might know what it is, and that is... Willy's Wonderland, starring Nicolas Cage. This is pretty much their take on Five Nights at Freddy's. This is just a uh, fun, over-the-top, uh, kind of gory, not always gory, um, action, uh, like a horror action movie. Um, stars Nicolas Cage as the lead role, even though he does not say a single word in it. Like, he, he speaks nothing. He always just goes... He's always ready to fight, but he doesn't talk, which is very interesting. He said he wanted to do this because uh, he wanted to do his take on, like, uh, silent horror movies and all that. And that's kind of, like, what this was and, like, his take on it and, like, kind of paying tribute to the industry of uh, the silent horror films, which, like, the only one that I know off the top of my head is uh, Phantom of the Opera. But anyway, that's what it looks like. This is one of their bare, the bare bones edition. Like it, it's not rated because it's such a uh, <laughs> such a low budget movie. But it is really really fun. Don't let the low budget like uh, scare you away. And um, I'll talk more about it in the review video. But anyway, the next one that we got is I've actually never read the book. I've uh, haven't seen the movie, but I really do like Jeff Bridges, uh, Brandon Thwaites from Titans. He plays uh, Dick Grayson slash Nightwing. And Meryl Streep, and it also has Taylor Swift, Katie Holmes, Alexander Skarsgård in it. And that is The Giver. I got this from my uh, local FYE, and I've heard very good things about the book, and I've heard mixed things about the movie. So I kind of want to see it for myself. I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to see it for myself. See, for my own opinion on it, I might like it, I might not like it. It really just kind of depends on how it's portrayed. I know that, like, it switches from black and white to color, depending on, like, what's going on in the movie, but, um, I bought this U, so I won't be doing an unboxing video for this, because I only like to do unboxing videos if I actually bought it new, but I bought it used for, like, $2.99, so hopefully it's good. Let me know what you think of The Giver down in the comments below. So those were the two, uh, Blu-rays, so we'll move over to the DVDs now. So the first DVD that I got is Sahara. Starring uh, Matthew McConaughey, Stephen Zahn, and Penelope Cruz. Uh, Sean Edwards from Fox TV says it's Indiana Jones and James Bond rolled into one. I read the back. It sounds pretty fun. It sounds like, uh, like a fun action-adventure film. It did. It kind of gave me vibes of when I was reading it uh, on the back of Young Indiana Jones, if you ever actually heard of that movie. I want to say it was a uh, Steven Spielberg Presents, something like that, because I believe he also did Young Sherlock Holmes. But anyway, there's a cover of it. There's the back. As you can see, it just kind of has that feel of just like a travel fun like style movie. It's rated PG-13 for some action violence. So then it runs at two hours and three minutes long. And it's from 2005. And I'm not like a diehard fan of Matthew McConaughey. But like I'm, I'm curious to see how he does in this. Because this doesn't really strike me as his style role. But anyway, that is Sahara. So last, but certainly not least, is I have watched this one too. And I thought it was just... Tons of fun if you don't take it serious, because it is just 90s over-the-top cheesiness. And that is... Street Fighter! Like, uh, I thought this movie was just so, so much fun. I did not take it serious, I just had an awesome fun time with it. It stars Jean-Claude Van Damme and uh, Raul Julia, if I pronounce that right. I know uh, Raul Julia, I want to say, like... He's known for this movie because he's just so over the top in it, and he does such a great job. And, like, the action set pieces are big and spectacular, and that's pretty much the best thing about it. It's just, it's such a fun, over-the-top movie. Don't take it serious. They're literally basing it off of a fighting game, like Mortal Kombat, when it's just, like... Like, that's all they do. So, like, it's pretty much, like, how it's gonna be. It's such a... It's a fun movie. We got, like, a Casey Jones ripoff in this, which is pretty fun. And, uh, pretty much just, like... Jean-Claude Van Damme just kicks everyone, and it's just, he just kicks them to death, and it's just a, it's a good, fun, uh, just, 
It's already PG-13, so I can't say uh, R-rated. It's a good, fun 90s, uh, over-the-top action movie. If you don't take it serious, you're going to have a very, very fun time with it. But anyway, that was my complete DVD and Blu-ray haul. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please put them down in the comments below. I will do my best to reply. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below. And also let me know what you thought of Street Fighter down in the comments below. And also if you uh, don't know, I also have an Instagram under the exact same name, MaddieTheGeek97. I do posts about like when I just pick up random movies and I decide to post a picture about them and all that, asking people what they think of it. If uh, you uh, want to follow that uh follow it up on instagram but anyway thanks for watching as always and i will see all of you in the next video bye